First of all, we use the template provided with the tank to mark the film end. This is a very different from using the Rondin X35, which doesn't have this process or the method of attaching the film. Now, the instructions suggest using a pen knife to cut the film out. With modern film, I've found that's impossible even with the sharpest scalpel. So I mark it with a with a with a um, felt tip marker, and then actually do the cutting using scissors. And the key is to get a smooth entry into the spiral. So you don't want a jagged edge where the film is going to enter the spiral there. And that's the cutting out stage. And you can see we have a central tongue of film and then you use the template again to mark where the film is to be folded. That just makes a, an indentation so that you can fold the film back on itself like that. Because that is attached to a buckle to pull the film into the tank. And there we go now, we clip the cassette in, in place in the tank. And attach the buckle. The instructions show how that's done. Just putting the winding knob in place and then gently advance the film a short way down the film guide to make sure it's lying properly. Here we are and then the lid on the tank. That's it, light tight. Now this particular tank has a modification. That, that there's, a, there's a stud which not only enters the back of the um, cassette but also locks the lid on. I don't know whether this was done as a factory modification or by some individual after they, they bought it. Anyway, it makes no difference to the operation of the tank other than locking the lid on. Now I'm winding the film from the cassette onto the reel and in fact with this as in the Rondin Act you can stop at any stage because there's a film marker and you can cut the film early and then use the remainder of the film in, in the camera. So I can't find, wind any further because it's caught in the cassette and that's the film cut and now the Developer is added. And the knob turned for the entire period of, of developing and um, fixing. It's a fairly slow pouring into these tanks because the, the um, container at the at the top of the tank isn't very big and it takes a while for it to, to fall into the tank below. Okay we'll start plop. The end of the development, pouring out about 15 seconds before the, the end time. And this 
single rinse with water. Water discarded. That's the fixer now being poured into the tank. Again, turning the whole time. That's the end of fixing. You can actually take the lid off at this stage and either wash under the tap or by a succession of water changes. I'm using a succession of water changes here. I'm doing about 20 and then in the final wash putting a spot of wetting agent. Pull that away. And that's it. The film can be pulled off the spiral and is ready to dry.